Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuvir. In this class, we will discuss about local and instance variables. In our last class, we clearly discussed about how to define an object and how to access the methods that are present in the object. And the step-by-step -step execution flow discussed in our last class. The same example we are using here with a little bit modification. That's why we are not concentrating here on the execution flow. Please watch that class and come back here. The link for the playlist is provided in the description below. Coming to today's class. So in our last class example, we are having two classes. Class first example. In this class, we are having two methods. Add method and multiply method. Similarly, in the next class, local and instance. We changed this name, local and instance. Second class. In this class, we are having a main method. So the execution starts in the main method. This is the point we discussed in our last class. First line, it executes. Second line, third line, fourth line, fifth line. This is how it is going to be executed. In the first line, we defined a variable. In the second line, we defined an object for the class first example. For this class, we defined an object. So once object is created, we can use the methods that present in that class. So we, we call the method ob dot add off with the values one comma five. We after completing add off method, we call the next method ob dot multiply off with the, the values two comma six. So now we are going to understand what local and instance variables means. See in this class, the variables x, y, z these variables defined inside the method. The variables that defined in declared in, in the method, we call it as local variables. These variables we can use only in this method. We cannot use outside this method. The meaning whenever this block of code, this method is going to be executed. Whenever the execution is going on, we can use these variables x, y, z. Once the execution is completed, we cannot use these x, y, z values. These variables are no more. So how memory is allocated to local variables and instance variables, we, we are going to discuss in our next class. So as of now, the forget about the memory allocation. You need to understand these are the local variables. Similarly, the local variables that belongs to this method are int a, b, d. We can use these variables inside whenever this method is going to be executed. So if, if you define a variable outside these methods, that we call it as instance variables or simply we call it as global variables. Int p is equal to 10 which is defined above the methods, add method and multiply method. This variable we call it as instance variable or we call it as simply we can go with the global variable. So what's local variable and what's global variable? We understand what's local variable means. What is global variable? We can use this variable in any of these methods that present in the class. That is what global means. So now coming to the execution. First thing we, we call the add method with values 1 comma 5. So x contains 1, y contains 5. Int z, z is equal to x plus y plus p. What is the value of global variable instance variable 10? 1 plus 5 plus 10, 16. Now z is having a value of 16. And we are displaying z value here. Addition value is z. So our output is addition value z which is 16. Addition value 16 is one of the output. The first output we are going to get after executing this code. And one more thing you have to remember. So after executing x plus y plus z, we are incrementing this value p is equal to p plus 1. What's the meaning of that? Now we are changing the value p. p is equal to 10 plus 1 which is 11 assign it to p means now from now onwards after executing this line after executing this line p value is 11 okay so you need to understand any method can use the value instance variable value or any method can modify the value also so this is very very important point you need to understand global variables means any method can access or any method can modify that value so now onwards, after, after completion of this add method, 
execution move to the main method and keeps on continuing in the next line what is the next line it is calling the multiplication method again multiplication method we are going to call this method and we are going to execute this code so we are sending the values 2 comma 6 a contains 2 b contains c d is equal to 2 multiplied by 6 multiplied by what is the p value now p is equal to 11 now because previously this method modified the p value to 11 so now onwards p is equal to 11 2 6 12 12 11 132 so it is going to return the d value means 132 is returning back that 132 is coming here and placed it in a variable called k now we are going to display multiplication value is equal to 132 k value what what's present in the k 132 so according to our requirement uh, we go, we need to uh, we need to understand which variables we have to take as global variables means instance variables uh, which variables we need to consider it as local variables uh. so this level of this level of understanding you are going to get when we do the examples so you need to understand what instance variables and global uh, local variables means hope you understand this example if you have any questions regarding the concept, please post your questions in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates. Thank you.